Okay, welcome back to Magic Cat Tutorials. And today we're going to go a little bit more into tweaking your system. Yes, there's actually more stuff you can do to your system. So we're going to start up our virtual box here. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Give it a minute to crank up. I hate these little warnings. I wish you could get rid of them. And maybe you can. I just don't know how yet. I'll have to look into that. So. Do, 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 do. box of Parrot Security OS cranked up. Here we go. Old Test Dummies ready. We put in Test Dummies password. Let me in. One, two, three. I apologize for the background music if you hear it. It's <laughs> stay here by myself and my uh, my roommates can uh, be very loud with the stereo at times all right let it catch up here a bit so it will go full screen with us there we go okay so now we'll go full screen There we are. Okay, so we saw a little flash here. It had some updates to run, but if it does, I'm just going to ignore that for now because I don't want it to take up a lot of time in our tutorial. Uh, yeah, let's see how many. We will see how many updates it has. <coughs> Mmm, goodness. Should I do that and put it in the background? You know what? We can. Alright. There we go. Okay. So, we'll just kind of let that run in the background. And we just go over to another desktop here. Alright, our workspace. Whichever you want to call it. Um, so... Let's go over some additional tweaks that you can do before we get any further into um, the system as far as uh, like working from the terminal. Um, and what we're going to do in your menu, um, doesn't matter which style menu you're using, you're going to have a control center on there. So we'll go to control center. You could go directly to what we're about to go to, but I, I just wanted you to use the control center because you can see everything there. Okay. So, there's a few things we can do from here, um, like, for instance, screensavers. Um, you have some default screensavers that are given to you from the get-go, um, which are fine, but you can also install some additional if you want. Uh, I have this set for after 30 minutes to cut on the screensavers so that it doesn't uh, um, get irritating, and I like to have both of these selected. You know, that's simply a matter of personal choice. When you select your screensaver, you can hit preview button here, so you see what it looks like. And then you can click to leave full screen and it gets rid of it. So I'm just going to, for now, I'm going to leave it on that. And um, because we got run updates running in the background, we're going to, not going to do any installs right now. But let's go to under look and feel, which of course is going to deal with the appearance. So we're going to tweak the appearance a bit. and click on mate tweak all right so you can choose what icons are going to show on your desktop now like uh, let's see or no icons at all see I can click on this and all the icons disappear if you prefer that and you can just use your menu um, some people do prefer a very clean desktop like that um, and there's a very good reason to use a very clean desktop like that you can access everything from your menu and this way you can use the entirety of your screen to set up Conky later. 
but that's a later tutorial. We'll go over that. Um, if you've ever used KDE, you use Plasma, but um, since we're using Mate, uh, both Mate and GNOME, and, uh, they use Clunky, um, and both are are fine. They pretty much do the same thing. But like I said, I digress. We'll get into that later on. So we're going to leave the desktop icons. I kind of like a couple of them up there. I do like it to show the mounted volumes. Don't need to show the network. Not necessary. Don't need the home folder. Not necessary, but I do like computer trash and mounted volumes to be on there. Okay, so now the panel. You can customize the panel. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I don't recommend a lot of messing around in here until you really learn a good bit more about it. Um, because this sort of thing can make a difference. Okay. Um, and uh, you also have um, various outputs, you know, and things you can do. Under Windows here, um, everything's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, won't normally mess with the Window Manager, okay? You leave that at, at what it shows because it's automatically going to choose what's going to run the best. Um, the only thing I can really think of for going down here is if you were to install an application called Compiz, which allows you to do some cool little things with your system, um, but we it, it uses up resources and it's just a it's a frou frou thing. It's just something for fun. It's not really anything that's essential or um, uh, increases your productivity or anything like that. So um, we're going to do close. All right, and then we can go into appearance here. So we're going to click on Appearance. Here we go. All right, so under Appearance, now you see we can choose a theme. So suppose we don't like the way this theme looks. And now the theme covers pretty much everything, icons and all kinds of stuff. All right, and they kind of give you a little sample on the picture of what the different parts of the theme will change to. And you see we have different things we can choose from. And you can even go grab more themes. So you can get more themes online and you can install them. Here, we'll just take a look. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Start Firefox. <clears throat> okay, now, as we slowly load up here, here we go. Alright, so you're probably going to be at the GTK3 um, with this system also. You, you, it's going to be up to the GTK3, so you want to look at those themes if you decide you want to go download some. And then you just pretty much, um, you're looking through the themes here to decide what you want to, you know, what kind of look you'd like. Um, the most helpful ones are ones like this that actually you know show you the what the theme looks like um, drives me nuts when I do stuff like this because this doesn't give me any idea what the what the theme actually looks like and what it does like let's see Nordic is kind of cool I kind of like that one kind of subtle nice uh, calm tones um, so say if I wanted that I would click on Nordic Alright, and then it shows, see, we can see exactly what the Nordic theme looks like. Okay, it's got some nice little features in the toolbar there, it looks like, too. Some little customizations. So if I wanted this, um, I would go here and then download it. Um, when it's in pieces like this, um, it's a bit of a pain because you have to organize everything pretty much yourself in the folder and also that it works properly. Um, if you like the looks of um, the Mac OS Mojave, well, here's a theme to make your Linux box look like that. Now, let's click on that and see if they give us a nice little screenshot. There we go. So, that's, well, I guess it does pretty much look like Mojave, yeah. Um, so, if you wanted to download that, you know. Oh my goodness, this one's got a whole bunch of stuff for themes. So, and we get another look at it here various screenshots to see what it does so it really gives it a, a Mac look if uh, you want that sort of thing <laughs> I'm not real big on Macs they are good systems don't get me wrong and they they 
the Mac system is basically a Windows manager system that runs on top of FreeBSD, so it, it is something that, you know, um, that is akin to um, what we're working with in the next box. Um, here's one that's a Windows 10 transformation pack. We'll click on that just for giggles and see. So here we go. And see, it with, look at that, it even puts <laughs> the Windows icon there in place of it. So if someone didn't know any better, they would think you were working on a Windows machine here. Um, sneaky way to put uh, Linux on your workbox and your boss would never know, huh? You'd think you still have your Windows 10. And see how many, that one's not too bad. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, we're already supported, but I'm not logging in right now. Thank you. And we're just going to save that file. We're not going to extract it immediately. And we'll go ahead and grab this one too. And it just looks like they have two different versions of the theme is what it is on this one. So, And everything apparently is self-contained in the one little archive, which is good. I like this much better, much less of a pain in the butt. So, all right, we'll go ahead and close that. So then if you wanted to, you would click install and you're going to grab the theme package, which of course went to our downloads folder. And let's see. It's going to give us a bit of a pain to show the, the downloads folder. Or, hmm, or it could be that um, our um, Firefox put it in a different folder altogether. No, nope. it's here. Well, perhaps we need to uninstall or extract it first. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and extract it. There we go. All right, and we'll grab, we'll go and grab this one. Extract it. There we go. All right. Drop that in there, and we have. Uh, looks like we have some some wallpapers that we had grabbed uh, previously for um, something else, and we'll, we'll piddle around with that too. All right. Oh, the updates are complete. Very good. Uh, so let's see if it'll let's install it from the. There we go. So if we installed the Dark Master, and, um, it's going to ask you what type, and you see if you have Plasma or. Whatever, if we used the GTK 3.0, okay, so it's all in there. You can grab all your themes that you want, or you can use the defaults, but we'll move on. We're just going to use one of these because um, I want you to see what it does. See, it instantly changes the appearance of your windows and your borders and your menu, and, um, everything. Notice the icons changed. Um, if we look at the uh, icons in the individual directories too you'll see they've changed some things that this theme just didn't have a, an icon for so you get the little default icon so there we are okay <coughs> pardon me so sorry so let's say we chose this one and we like that all right and of course we can customize the background what if we wanted to change the background a bit uh, like go with something like that Okay, that would be fine. All right, we can play around with the fonts, um, the interface. Okay, but here's the cool thing. So we're, we're using this theme, right? There we go. We're using this theme, so we're gonna customize it. So let's click on customize. And you see we can, we can go and look around at different items here that we wanna pick to customize it even further. So like for example, what if I liked, a, I don't like this brightness. What if I wanted to go with say, something like this or maybe even black mate. You know, that's kind of interesting. Uh, black bird. Let's see, okay. Um, where's a, I think this one does what I think it does, let's see. Um, we will find out. Okay, 
so no, nope, that's your regular minimize, maximize. Um, some of these will have a, a window shade uh, option that just kind of rolls the window up into the title bar and then it'll expand it back down just like a window shade. Um, if you like that sort of thing, you know, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to find one that, that I like here. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like this one, but uh, I want to customize it. And let's see what kind of controls look do we like. Um, maybe something like that. Wow, that's dark, dark, isn't it? <laughs> Icy dark. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of interesting. I do like the darker themes. Blackbird. There you go. That's kind of cool. You may hate it, but I like it. Um, now the window border. So see, we can change how the border looks. Um, we can use the black mate border if we want. I kind of like the blue submarine border. Um, icons. Um, I do like the Maya or Maya, however you want to say that, um, icons. You, you can choose something like Enlightenment. Um, they have a nice little icon set. Kind of cool. Um, but, and see how the trash can's changed. But I do, I like this one. I really do. It's um, one of the standards that comes with it. You can go with the standard mate if you like that too. But um, I like this one. Um, just my preference. You can change the pointer to be different colors and you can even change the size of the pointer. If you want to, just grab this little control. Oops, gotta grab something other than the uh, um, default for it to do that. We'll do the, the mate icon and then see we can make it really big if we want to. Or I just like leaving it the default. You can make it a little larger than that if you want to, whatever you prefer. Again, this is all preference. Just, you know, how you want to tweak it to customize it to you, make it yours, you know. Show a little bit of your own personality there. So we'll close that. And let's see. Yeah, this is this will be fine. So that's pretty much how you go through tweaking your, your system there with the appearance and and changing that. So that's all for this tutorial. Nice little short one today. I hope you enjoyed it. So have a good one. Thanks for joining us.